Exploring the world with English, nationality and origin adjectives. Hello language enthusiasts! Welcome to our exciting journey through English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a specific type of descriptive adjective, nationality and origin adjectives. These adjectives are crucial in describing people, their languages, and the things that come from different parts of the world. So, without further ado, let's dive right into it. Nationality and origin adjectives are adjectives that are used to denote the origin or nationality of a person or thing. These adjectives derive from place names and are used to describe where someone or something comes from. For instance, if you are from America, you are American. If something is made in China, it's Chinese. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? And yes, there are a few exceptions and irregular forms, but don't worry, we will get there. Nationality and origin adjectives are generally formed by adding specific endings to the name of the country, region or city. The most common endings are n, ian, ish, essay, i, ic, ish, ch, sa and i. Here are some examples. n, American, Russian, Canadian, Ian, Australian, Brazilian, Italian, Ish, English, Spanish, Swedish, SA, Japanese, Chinese, Portuguese, I, Iraqi, Kuwaiti, Bengali, IC, Icelandic, Arctic, Antarctic. Just note that the endings might vary depending on the noun they're derived from. Also, there are a few exceptions to this rule, which we'll discuss in the next section. In the English language, as you may already know, there are always exceptions. And nationality and origin adjectives are no different. Some nationality adjectives don't follow the standard pattern, such as French, Dutch, Swiss, and Greek. We don't say Francian or Greasish, do we? These irregular forms need to be memorized as there is no rule for them. Don't worry, with practice, these will become second nature to you. So there you have it. Nationality and origin adjectives are a fantastic way to describe where people or things come from adding a global touch to your English. Just remember the general rules and the exceptions, and you'll be ready to use them correctly in no time. As always, keep practicing, stay curious, and continue exploring the world through English. Thank you for joining us on this learning adventure. Until next time, happy learning!